Hello, this is Croak. Back for another uh, ARC video. Uh, the long-awaited tour of my base, which uh, the server seems to get laggier and laggier and lots of rubber banding and such. So I figure I better get it done while I still can. I'm going to do a quick fly around and uh, show off some some of the outside and then we'll go inside and look around. Uh, first of all, I actually built this taming cage back when I first started. Uh, it was a... Uh, <laughs> it's sort of an up, upside down pyramid, but I wanted something off the ground and uh, it didn't turn out as straight as I hoped it would, but it works. Okay, and my original house was on this rock right here, but then when I decided to build the Falcon, we moved over a little and let everything load in. My computer is not up for this task, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, there's some lag. Okay, these are my breeding, breeding pens where I've been breeding Quetzals and Allosauruses and Therizinos and such. And I just put them in there so I don't have to whistle. There's my uh, level 300 aloes. I think that's the highest level thing I've bred so far. And of course the falcon. Uh, I started messing with triangles and started building a circle. And then I thought, you know, <laughs> actually I kind of discovered it by accident on the edge of the... Uh, circle. I had some straight pieces going out and I thought, hey, that kind of looks like a falcon. So, and the, uh, of course, the, I didn't have a dish on top. The uh, drum there is the closest thing I can come up with. And then a lot of this stuff is decorative, but I do have a turret on top. And these, uh, <laughs> these three water tanks on the back don't actually collect water and serve no other purpose than looking like the uh, little things on the back of the Millennium Falcon. On the back here we have our garden which uh, is the exhaust so I painted it a little different color. Uh, yeah, the building on the back here is mostly decorative. I uh, I built it mainly for to be a wall to keep things from coming down the back, but then I ended up adding some turrets as well, plant turrets on the back. But uh, there is some breeding going on inside there as well. There's my Therizinos. Oh, and my aquatic breeding for frogs, which, yeah, I did a little breeding, but we'll have to cover that in another video. Looks like I missed some paint. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, and of course, my, my deer breeding. Boy, that was a success. That is the brightest John Deere I've ever seen. Okay, let's go have a look inside. Oh, I got a couple tech pieces. I can't imagine redoing the entire thing in tech. That would be very expensive. Here's the front entryway. Uh, I had to paint the ramps different colors so that... <laughs> Running around this circle, uh, I frequently go up the wrong ramp, so the red one is out. The blue one goes into the cockpit, which is where my chemistry bench is. We, uh, uh, there's still some temporary stuff set up in here. Did a little sheep breeding to get some wool. These are going to die pretty soon. Uh, there's a lot of little cubby holes in here that 
don't actually serve much of a purpose aside from my feeder being in here. There's my bed. Another cubby hole that has some storage. I do have a nice window on the side here so I can look out. And <laughs> another window on the side that I can look out at nothing. Although if I crouch, I can uh, see a little bit. Oh, okay, this, uh, this pillar here is basically this entire structure is sitting on one pillar. This is the pillar. Do not remove this one or the whole thing collapses. And actually, I'll go outside right now and talk about that. God, I hate hatch frames. This was, when I was building, this was the only way I could get up here. And it survived. Okay, this one pillar, as you see, is square in the middle of the foundation. The other ones, actually that one looks square here, but it is not square on the top, so it provides no support. This one, uh, is that centered on the top? Uh, maybe. But it is, I believe it's off center. Yeah, it's off center on the bottom. I basically wanted to make it look like it was somewhat sitting on symmetrical feet, although they didn't quite come out exactly how I wanted. But uh, that's how things go. And then these two pillars are just making it look like the uh, they are connected to the ramp that drops down, which doesn't actually drop down. I do have a door on here, though. So, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they changed the doors recently. driving me nuts. Auto opening and auto closing. I want them to open when I open them and close when I close them. Okay, uh, originally this was <laughs> a scene from uh, Star Wars A New Hope. Uh, <laughs> but back when the, uh, the S Plus Gardener looked kind of like a robot. It was my C-3PO and this was my R2-D2. And I'd put on my ghillie suit and pretend we were playing at the Dijaric table. But then they changed the S-plus gardener to look like that, so not a very convincing C-3PO anymore. I'll throw a picture up to show what it looked like originally. Okay, in the middle we have our generator, which is from a mod. Uh, the turret, I had to put on that ramp so I could get it to stick out a little. Uh, this room is basically just a centerpiece. It doesn't actually do anything because I pulled the generator. Okay, back to the tour. Uh, upgrade station. Yeah, we did the sheep. Back over here. Oh, my... Uh, Megapithecus trophy and my brood mother. We have been doing some boss fights. Uh, in here is another empty space. Uh, same over here, except I got my uh, my wool collector. He's grabbing some wool for me. Um, got some various storage around here. There's an artifact. Up here is my grinder. Oh yeah, the garden back here. It's uh, basically some narco and various berries and uh oh, something died. Oh, nice rubber band. I guess I need to get some fertilizer going. All my crops are dying. I haven't been on here for about a week been playing another game and we have 
fertilizer. I'll have to set that up again. Got my uh, compost area back here and egg collection. The, the original storage I had before I got all those nice metal boxes. Um, I was doing a little breeding of these ichthyornis in here in this temporary cage, which I forgot to remove. And then the snails. Uh, the I, I, I like this area because the fog com coming up makes it look pretty cool. And the way that I did that is I put the, uh, the bulk feeder underneath and the fog comes off of that and goes up there. It looks pretty neat. Yeah, I got a couple tech ladders. And that's about it, really. Uh, Smithy and Fab. I guess we can go up on the roof and look. Please work, Dora. Please work. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people I see that build with triangles, they use all triangles. But I like to use squares and triangles and you get basically the same shape but when I started building this uh, I had some problems with the uh, the straight parts here connecting to the circle so I ended up going with a different snap point and that way I could hide the uh, you know the overlaps over here with the extra snap point and that worked out pretty well for me a lot of this like <laughs> this uh, this piece here that comes in from the cockpit all these extra ramps on the side serve no purpose other than decorative if you look at the actual Millennium Falcon you'll see that it does it has a tube that comes in right here on the side where the uh, cargo hatch is. Of course it also has one on the other side but I really don't want to block up all my space with those uh, sloped roofs. And actually let me go jump off here and show you what it looks like in here with all these. Fortunately since this was around the door most of those don't get in the way very much. You can see there's some unnecessary slopes here. This one here, not too bad because it goes into a doorway, but it took me a while to get these set at the right height because originally I believe they were this height, which I kept having to crouch to go under. I don't know why that one's still at that height. Something I would work on again someday if I was a perfectionist but I'm not but that is the Falcon uh, let's go oh all my crops uh, something I wanted to show you if uh, if you've never seen this before uh, a lot of people are always trying to get their water taps to sit on top or whatever well, in art, you don't really need to. All of my watering, my irrigation, is down here. This tap irrigates the plants above it. And these three taps irrigate all of those crops up there. I thought that was pretty neat. Oh, the, uh, the blue pattern, that is my gaming logo but being under the ship you'll never actually see it <laughs> but it looked cool before I built the ship on top of it okay up here in this building we have as you can see it was mostly decorative I didn't do much with uh, the interior I was breeding some uh, pigs up here the female goes in here and when she has a baby they drop out the bottom it's very good for bears doe dicks 
saber tooth so the babies don't get stuck under the mother. It's a lot easier to claim them that way. And here's uh, the roof. Uh, yeah, it's kind of built into the into the rock, so a lot of floor space is no good. But come over here. There's a yeah. This was really hard to build on the rock. <laughs> Some of it's not even like over here. There's a pieces that are there's no foundation under it, so they're hanging from the top and going down just to fit in. Let's go up here. The, uh, there's a little bit of a view up here. Come out here and look at the back of the Falcon. I tried doing flybys, but with the lag and my crappy computer, it's really hard to get a good view of this while I'm flying. Let's go up a level and see if it's any better up there. Yeah, there's my plant turrets on the back. Yeah, more decorative stuff up here. Well, that kind of blocks the view. Uh, let's see, let's go back down one. around here somewhere. There we go. Well, now the rail's kind of in the way. But there is my base. My Quetzals. Been breeding those. Got that blue mutation. Uh, the one with the cage. That's my original one. You can see the old leadsick killing boat down there. <laughs> Wait, where am I? Looks like my gate's open out there. That's weird. Actually, I forgot. I have tech boots. Why am I going down the slow way? Let's go investigate. Okay, that's kind of weird. My gate has turned sideways. Somehow. That's pretty interesting. Not sure how that happened. Nope, oh, must have some piranhas around here. Get me piranhas. Plant turrets usually kill them, but they actually spawn inside here, so they're always attacking me when I come out here. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this is a graphical glitch, and once I fly out of the area, it will fix itself. Arc being arc. Let's take a run up here and get a different angle. Alright, there we go. Another slightly different angle. Of course, the rain's not helping. But that is the Falcon. And thanks for watching. If you like the video, uh, please hit that thumbs up button, share the video if you would like, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!